MacOS 26 Tahoe is the biggest Wii design I've ever seen, ever. But here's the thing though, it's only in beta, and I can't install it on my main machine. But you know what I did though? Install on a virtual machine. That's right, I installed macOS 26 Tahoe on my virtual, on a VM in UTM. In today's video, I wanna go check it out with you guys. So buckle up, let's get started. All right, so here it is, macOS 26 Tahoe. In case you guys want a little proof that this isn't on a beta, as you can see here, I can go here and I can access um, Sequoia. Very, fairly easy. Have a guys hook up, as you can see here, Tahoe. So we're, as you can see here, we got software complete, and Mac has been updated, or virtual machine, sorry. Continue. And here it is. Welcome. Ooh, I really like that liquid glass design. That is just wonderful. All right, I'm gonna click continue. And here it is. <laughs> we're on Mac OS Tahoe. As you can see here, we have received loads of like, Major overall design, one sec, you can't see it, can't you? All right, all right, so let's go explore Mac OS Tahoe. So, oh my God, the widgets are cursed. So yeah, it, by default, it comes with free widgets on the desktop. I just leave them ASAP. Oh, not about this Mac here. We're gonna go check out about this Mac on this thing. And as you can see here, yep, Apple Virtual Machine 1, Apple M4 Virtualized. And man, in fact, that's our first change. Um, If we go close out the application and go back into here and click on about this Mac, you saw that the animation? That is a new animation. And animations are now on Tahoe. So that is pretty darn nice. And no welcome change has to be the world, the menu bar. The menu bar is now translucent, or then the menu bar being not translucent. Here's what it is on Sequoia. But um yeah, got me a pretty welcome change. Yeah, so let's go check out the settings um a bit. Matter of fact, it's a whole entire, as you can see here, the whole entire design is liquid glass, as Apple is calling it. I gotta admit, the liquid glass design really does look like Vision OS. I can really see it with the music app, so I go to music here, and I click start listening, go on to radio, I can just scroll through, and look at how, you can barely even see it, but I can see how liquid glass just reflects on the bottom music bar. It's just very, very subtle, but yeah, very, very nice. I think it's just a welcome change with liquid glass. Yeah, but the other change that I have, that has on Mac OS Tahoe is going to be the dock. The dock, or the icons in general, the icons are right now regular, but if I go to appearance and click on dark here, boom. Icons are dark. Yeah, dark mode on icons, just like on iPhone, are enabled on Mac. And if we go on to clear, as you can see, we, got, we have a new cleared look. I really like the look of the light mode on. Like, look at that. My dad isn't cool. Like, oh, there it is. Yeah, as you can see, just look at that. And so I'm just gonna get rid of the top for real quick. And yeah, I gotta admit, very, very cool change that we have this clear look, and we even also have tinted. I personally prefer tinted with the dark mode. Actually, I, mean, I think I can make it look better. Let's go to wallpaper. Let's, let's go down. Oh, there it is. Radial bro, uh, radial bro. Radial blue. There we go, that looks very nice, yeah. Along with that, we also have the clock appearance. This basically allows us to um, change what the clock is and looks like. And I said liquid glass all over the interface. As you can see, I can like use the liquid, the slider and it is liquid glass. It's just so, such a nice little redesign. It's just amazing. And as you see, I click on um, lock screen. As you can see here, got liquid glass inside the um, clock. So okay, I just signed into my account without you guys looking. And yeah, I gotta admit, this liquid glass design is pretty iconic, and I really do like the liquid glass design of Mac OS 26 Tahoe. And yeah, the name scheme's different. It's 26 rather than being 16. And yeah, the only new wallpapers I can see is Mac OS Beta, and that's really all. And um, yeah, really, this is just a pretty nice little redesign. Um, in case you're wondering, um, I'm using UTM. 
I'm not gonna tell you guys because of copyright reasons and I don't want to like get copyright strike. Don't ask why, but yeah. Matter of fact, liquid glass makes me want to turn on the magnification on. Just look at that. Just this liquid glass design just looks so beautiful and I absolutely freaking love it. I mean, is, is this too big? I don't know. But either way, I can like, look at the icons. They're redesigned. Look at the liquid glass as they're like resized with dock. So cool. Oh man, I really like this new design so much. Got liquid glass in the, got liquid glass in the menus. Yeah, comment. Everything here on the Mac OS 26 Tahoe is about liquid glass, and that is the main theme for this year's OS. Another thing that's new of Mac OS 26 Tahoe is the control center. As you can see here, the control center has been redesigned um, to look a lot more like iOS, and if we click on edit controls, as you can see here, we have control toggles. We can like put in as much as we want, make it unique as much as we want. And which is actually pretty nice and pretty darn cool because, you know, iOS has this and personally I've been actually looking forward towards this change. And uh, yeah, this is my control center. Just random. But yeah, also what I've noticed is also the cursor. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the cursor has changed from macOS with the Mickey Mouse glove to regular looking like Linux. I've noticed that it's a subtle change. Yeah. The other thing we've also seen is the removal of the launch pad, unfortunately. So if we go into Sequoia here for a sec, as you can see, I can click on launch pad and I can like go into launch pad and stuff. But if we go to here, this ain't launch pad anymore. This is applications. So I can like go to, yeah, as you can see, I can just have to like search up the application. Yeah, we even have different icons for each thing. So like disk utility, as you can see here, yeah, I allocated 100 gigs for it. And uh, yeah, and I gotta admit, it's, that goes Tahoe is something. So yeah, so that, that's my thoughts on Mac OS Tahoe. It's indeed something and I'm, it's a very welcome change to Mac OS. I personally prefer the old design, like sort of, but personally as I said, I think that Apple is just doing Oh yeah, here, see, oh, anime open applications. Very nice and welcome change to macOS. So yeah, I did say that I got macOS Tahoe on my Surface Pro 3, but this time I got it on my um, virtual machine, I'd say. As it's always recommend to use a virtual machine to install a beta like I did. Um, Acid, I'm not gonna tell you guys how I did it. I'm just gonna tell you guys it's in a virtual machine because I want to enforce good practices and I do not want to get a copyright strike again. So due to this, I'm not going to tell you guys. It's on external SSD. It's so something I'm like externally booting off of an SSD. So um, yeah, as you can see here, yeah, I can tell you guys the specifications of the VM though. I mean, that's not like copyright or anything. As you can see here, um, the thing is labeled as Apple Virtual Machine 1 for some odd reason. Um, as you can see, Apple M4 virtual, I believe I allocated four cores, eight gigs of, um, of virtual memory, and um, as I said, it's running Tahoe 26 beta 2. It's running beta 2 because I have made it to run beta 2. Um, why? Because I personally um, like the new final icon. One sec, I'm gonna go into wallpaper here. I'm gonna click on Mac OS beta for a sec, and I'm gonna go default. Yeah, as you can see here, the Finder icon, regular finder icon is on here. And yeah, first thing my preferred is by going tinted, going dark, and by setting the um, MacBook Air Midnight Blue Opera. Oh yeah, and um, one sec, um, appearance, um, making it dark. There we go, look at that. This is just, tell me this is a fire setup. This is such a fire setup. Like I'm not even exaggerating with you. As you can see, we still have our regular old wallpapers as well, we can like, Play. Ooh, I wonder how it look with Hello Blue. Oh, that's fire. Wow, that is just beautiful, man. Wow, I'm definitely gonna, matter of fact, I'm gonna keep that. But um, yeah, as I said, a little first look at Mac OS 26 Tahoe. I personally love it. 
It's an amazing OS and I am absolutely pumped up whenever this debuts in the public. So yeah, for now, this is Lebex Tech. Thank you so much for watching and I'll uh, see you guys later. In case you're wondering, um, I'll be ending this on Sequoia. Like, like, look at this. I don't even enable that, but definitely the launch pad is a, definitely going to be a missed change. Let's see, I'm just going to... Yeah, <laughs> this is my launch pad in case you're wondering. It's like a little neat little comp center. As you can see, I got my apps up here and I got my um, folders for each app in here. Yeah, the important apps are up here. Matter of fact, um, I'm just gonna make a new folder called um, Xcode. There you go. Done. And uh, yeah, definitely gonna carry down. Might need um, more apps outside. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Rest in peace, Launchpad. <laughs>